Act. It's called e-reassignment. It documents the numerous occasions on which he hired hit men to kill those that were either in competition with him in business or in politics. That book documents how he had discarded of dead bodies and how he keeps money and how he pays those hitmen. And interestingly, those hitmen move between Mozambique and South Africa through Mpumalanga, as Mpumalanga is closer to Mozambique. But the president, who was the intelligence chief or boss for a ruling party, deemed it fit to appoint such an individual into an important position in government as a premier. There is no way he wouldn't have known. These matters occurred as late as the year 2008, 2003, 2002. At that time, President Zuma was Deputy President of the Republic. He had access to intelligence, but prior to that, he was an intelligence boss based in Mozambique. There is no way he would not know the history of Didi Mabuza. And this is just a single example to show you that um, we are dealing with very dangerous people. To illustrate also that the road goes to the level of local government, the same Didi Mabuza with his wife and the brother to the wife are sweeping all contracts at, look at Mbombela municipality, at Nelspreit and all over. All of those contracts are going into the girlfriend's pockets and the girlfriend's company. That's to, that is to illustrate the road to you. I have my evidence and I'm challenging anybody to take me to court. And maybe because president is refusing to go to court through for, for the Judicial Commission of Inquiry on the State Chapter, maybe we should dare these people in the manner in which I am doing that they must go to court and then in through the court, those court processes, then we'll bear, we lay bare for all to see all the information that we have that proves that they are crooked, they are dirty, they are dangerous, they do not love this country, they are working for somebody else, and they do not respect the sovereignty of this country. My last question and plea to South Africans is, are you going to allow me, as a whistleblower, to be hanged alone? You daily proclaim that you stand fully behind me. But are you going to heed the call that I am calling you to, the action that I'm calling you to, to do? Because if you don't, I remain exposed. History will write me down as a woman that trying to blow the nation wise of the rot that is happening. But history will judge you as a nation, as a nation that sat down and handed a woman, one woman, to the hyenas to be hanged and to be killed. I hope that this message will settle in your hearts and in your minds and that you will go and occupy until something breaks and that you'll demand a constituent assembly, you'll demand fresh elections, you'll demand that the Chief Justice runs the country until those elections, you'll, de you'll de demand a new national negotiation forum of some sort through the constituent assembly where we'll go and start and a new electoral process and that thereafter you will demand that the institutions that are supposed to look after the 